If everyone would stand with us, we're going to sing our call to worship tonight. Lord, we've come to worship you. The words will be on the, on the wall. Good to see everyone here tonight, and uh, very grateful for all God's done for us today. And it's good to see Al and Sherry back there with us. This makes the third Wednesday night that they've been here, but I've been off some other place, so this makes my first night to see them here. So it's good to see you here, guys, and uh, just so many others that have, that have, that have come out today. And uh, but let's pray, Father, Lord, we love you and we thank you for all that you do. Give us strength here tonight. Lord, I ask today, Lord, your will be done. Lord, just move upon us, Lord, we pray in a, in a mighty way. In Jesus' name, amen. If you remain standing, we're going to sing, I Need Thee Every Hour. I need be seated. If you want to sing along, the words will be on the, on the wall. Uh, we're going to sing the Lily of the Valley. <clears throat> He's 
the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. The lily of the valley, in him alone I see. All I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In sorrow he's my comfort. tells me every care on him to roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He all my griefs has taken and all my sorrows borne. In temptation he's my strong and mighty time. I have all for him forsaken and all my idols sworn. From my heart and now he keeps me by his power. Though all the world forsake me and Satan tempt me so. Jesus, I shall safely reach the goal. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He will never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me here. While I With his manna he my hungry soul shall fill. Then sweeping up to glory, I'll see his blessed face, where rivers of delight shall ever roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. Let's all stand this evening and let's, uh, 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 as our ushers come forward. Brother Dwight, could you help us this evening, please? Thank you, man. Thank you. Brother Jacob, would you ask the blessing, please? Thank you, Thank you. Yes.
Just some announcements. Uh, next Sunday uh, is our homecoming. We'll be celebrating 80 years of service to this community. <coughs> Excuse me. Of service to this community. And I am grateful for that. Aren't you all? And uh, so, uh, Brother Gary Gentry uh, will be here to, to preach for us. Uh, Blessed Ministries will be here to sing and how all that works. Uh, I'm sure everyone knows, but just to go over it, we may have some new folks here. During the Sunday school hour, uh, we will have singing. So there will not be any Sunday school, but we'll start at 10 o'clock. Uh, for the singing service, uh, and sometime close to 11, uh, we'll break, uh, and then we'll start sometime a little bit after 11 or around 11. I'm not, please don't hold me to no times. Uh, uh, I'm going to put you eating here so you're not going to have to wait in line anywhere else. Uh, so you'll save some time there. Uh, but sometime around 11, we'll get uh, our, 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 our service started. Uh, we'll have some singing and then some preaching. And then we'll go over here to the Family Life Center and we'll eat. Uh, we, have, we are catering in all the meals. Uh, it's everything uh, from, uh, from the ham and the chicken to the cream potatoes and the corn, uh, the green beans, the rolls. Uh, the rolls from, uh, from Bob Evans. Have you all ever had those before? The rolls from Bob Evans. Uh, the cakes from Peggy Ann. Am I right about that? Peggy Ann's cake? Yes? Okay, Pe Peggy Ann cake. Uh, so uh, it just keeps getting better and better. Uh, and then we'll have canned drinks or water uh, to drink. And we're asking, please no, uh, please no food to be brought in. So this is your time uh, to not have to worry about cooking a thing. And if you'd like to volunteer, there have been uh, some meetings about that. Please see Brother Larry uh, or, or, or someone on our board, Brother, uh, Brother Larry uh, or Brother Dennis, uh, Brother Keith, uh, Brother Terry, Brother Jerry, uh, a bunch of other E's, uh, and Brother Howard, uh, Brother John. If you have any questions about that, uh, please see them and they can answer the questions uh, that needs to be answered. But we're just asking no one bring any outside food in and it all will be commercially or, or prepared here uh, our, our, our volunteers uh, that will be serving the food in the lines uh, will have mask on and will have gloves on. Uh, we're trying to make this uh, as, as safe as we can uh, for our folks and make, it, make some people feel a little more comfortable maybe stay. And so that's what we're shooting for, okay? Uh, and that'll be next Sunday, uh, then Sunday evening service. Uh, we will not have a Sunday evening service, uh, so please, uh, please do remember that. Uh, again, this, uh, this coming Thursday, again, we'll have our grief share ministry that will be taking place here. Uh, so please be in prayer for that. Uh, let's see here. I believe. Yes, we will be having to go boxes. If you all do not feel comfortable staying, or maybe you have to run, uh, maybe you have to go somewhere, uh, we will have a to-go box, so please get, please get that to-go box to go with you. Uh, we would love for you to stay here, uh, but we really want you all to be able to eat, so please take that to-go box with you. Thank you, Brother Larry. Appreciate that. Let's do continue praying for some of our prayer requests. Uh, uh, let's do continue praying uh, for uh, uh, the families of Betty Bowers. Uh, this is Brother Paul Fritz's sister uh, down in Oak Ridge and Gail Hensley. Uh, so let's do remember the families of Betty Bowers and Gail Hensley. Uh, I've seen Sister uh, Dotson today, L uh, Louise Dotson. Uh, she is doing better and, uh, you know, she's still, still sore, uh, but she said they're looking forward to come back to church soon. Uh, so do remember them. Uh, Rex is doing well after his gallbladder surgery, after his knee surgery, and then after his gallbladder surgery, he's doing better. Uh, should get to come home soon, uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, Sister Shirley Foshi is having some severe 
shoulder pain, pain, and uh, but uh, before she has any kind of shoulder surgery, uh, she has to have some heart things looked at. Uh, so let's do continue praying for Sister Sherry, or Sh Shirley, excuse me, Sister Shirley. I've uh, been uh, talked with uh, the, the young women active for Christ that are on their, their retreat this week, and everything's doing well, and uh, so they're excited about that. So please be in prayer for them as they come back tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow morning sometime. Uh, Brother Eddie Martin will have a procedure tomorrow morning in Knoxville, uh, so let's do continue praying for that. And let's do remember uh, Brother Eddie and, and Sister Linda's Great nephew, Cody Martin. Uh, this young man is 11 years old and already having issues with kidney stones. Uh, so let's do remember that young man. Uh, let's do continue praying for Sister Phyllis Campbell. She had her knee replacement, uh, doing well. Sister Sarah uh, had uh, her appendix taken out, uh, and she's over in the Family Life Center. She had him taken out Wednesday, I think it was. And she's uh, she was here to church this morning, and she's helping pack up... Uh, uh, backpacks over in the Family Life Center already today. So uh, let's do continue praying for her. Uh, let's also remember Amanda, what is her last name? Amanda Anderson. Uh, this is the young lady that, that comes with uh, uh, Daniel and uh, Helen and Eddie that sits back in there. Uh, she'll be having some surgery tomorrow. So let's do remember that. Do remember that. Do you all have any requests this evening? Let's do remember this unspoken. Yes. Let's do remember Richie in Florida that's had a heart attack. Anyone else this evening? Let's do remember Sister Debbie with some tests on Wednesday. Anyone else? Yes, Brother Larry. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's, that's worth praising the Lord about, isn't it? Uh, let's do remember Brother Kenneth uh, Kelly. Uh, he lives up in Wisconsin, and he's having some shoulder issues, so let's do remember that. And just a praise item, Brother Larry got a good re results back from some of his blood work, and uh, the treatments were working, and uh, so we're grateful for that, Brother Larry. Very grateful. Anyone else? Can you hear us outside, guys? All right, all right, I heard that. Just some praise items that we have here today uh, that uh, we want to cover. Uh, we had just uh, we had three families, or four families, excuse me, Brother Dwight. Bro Brother Dwight was there. We had four families from our church that went uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the National in Memphis, and it was a very good meeting, a very good national association. Every year, our national association meets. The majority of the time, it's around the third week of July, here lately, it's been pushed back to the 4th some. Next year, it'll be the 4th, of July, 4th week of July. Uh, but every year, it's at a different location. A uh, city will host our national convention, and we'll go there. Uh, it'll be from Sunday morning to Wednesday night, and everyone will leave Thursday morning early or whenever we check out. And uh, so we had some good meetings, had some good business meetings, as well as wonderful preaching and some singing and uh, some good seminars that we were able to attend. They were shooting for, uh, now I remember back in the 80s, we would have close to 8,000 or better. Uh, you all remember that. I remember the 50th anniversary that was held in Nashville, and we had close to 8,000 or better then. Uh, but here lately, uh, with the cost of things, uh, with uh, more people working, more pastors working, and then especially this year with the COVID, uh, they were shooting for 3,000 this year. Now normally, uh, they have about 5,000 to 6,000, uh, but they were shooting for 3,000 with the COVID uh, and they, they, they exceeded that to 3,300 
And uh, so I think that was a, a positive. I really do. And uh, so let's do remember that next year, it'll be a little closer. Uh, it'll be down in Birmingham, Alabama next year. And again, it'll be the fourth week next year of July. So uh, Lord willing, I will be attending that. And uh, that's something that you provide for me and my family. I'm very grateful for that. That's part of uh, the, the salary package that you all give me. And uh, so I thank you. If, if you wouldn't have provided that, we wouldn't be able to go. And uh, so I thank you all for providing that for us. Uh, just uh, another uh, praise item, and I mentioned this this morning, but maybe some of you all was not here. Uh, Brother uh, uh, Sister Robin Reese, her late husband, Tim Osborne, founded a church and started a church in uh, the Oakland Somerville area. Uh, that's about 45 to 50 minutes out of downtown uh, Memphis. Uh, they started a church uh, in, a, in a storefront building. Uh, we're there several years and were able to purchase a former car lot, a very good location. It would be like building a church on 11E uh, just outside of Tusculum. Uh, it's just a very good location, uh, and they have ample parking, a good place to grow. We were able to see Seth. Seth Osborne attends here regularly. Uh, we were able to see Seth and his brother and sister, and then his, his Seth and his older brother, Jordan, which is a pastor there at Oakland now, or Somerville now. Uh, we were able to visit the church, able to go through and show us uh, just the progress that they've made with the new building and able to... Uh, to go. Uh, anytime preachers get together, you know we got to eat. So we, we took them out to, to, to dinner that night, that afternoon. And uh, so it was a, just a good visit. Uh, they, our church supported them for many years. And, and I'm here to say that uh, I believe that there's a church over there that's, that's planted. And I believe a church over there that's doing well. I, I believe that, and, and so I'm, I, I, that's part of us. Uh, those, those, uh, Sister Robin labored alongside uh, her husband, uh, late husband Tim uh, for many, many years, so she's part of that church, so in turn it's part of us. So I wanted to pass that along to you all, uh, just a praise item. Uh, this year there have been 47 Free Will Baptist churches that have shut their doors, so I thought it would be good to tell you something good about a church that's doing well, and uh, so I'm very grateful for that. Are there any other praise items or requests before we gather around the altar today? Let's do remember that. So they're coming back? Okay. I know that we're going to try to get the webs in here sometime around September, I think. Oh, Annette and David. Okay. Okay. So let's do remember them as they come back. They have about a 24-hour trip, so it's very tiresome. I know we all have an unspoken with a lifted hand. Hey guys, if you got one out in the parking lot, an unspoken, just sound your horn. All right, all right, I heard, I heard that. We heard that in here. Let's all that can, let's gather around the altar if you feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable coming around the altar, just kneel there in your seat or at the end of your pew. And let's, let's gather around the altar today as a family of prayer. <laughs> 